Hello and welcome back this wonderful Friday evening. Uh, I'm a bit sick, so please have me excused. Um, I think I stated in my last review that I'm going to change these reviews a bit. I think they were maybe I don't know, a bit pretentious or something like that. Um, I want to I wanna fit the more subjective nature of whiskey tasting and just... Uh, and just go with the flow, you know. Um, I still want to provide some fairly objective information. Um, and a way to do that, I think, is by having the same uh, frame of reference. I mean, uh, tall, light, dark, fat, sweet. All these statements doesn't really make much sense unless you're going to come have the same point of reference. So... Uh, when I'm gonna talk about Wythe and McKay, 13 year old, uh, then I'm gonna compare it to Johnny Walker Black Label. Uh, and there are several good reasons for that. Uh, they have about the same age. They both fairly high end uh, blends. They both cost around 20 to 25 pounds. Uh, and they both have caramel added. There are of course also some differences, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through them later. Let's taste it. I already got something in my glass, but uh, hey, it's Friday. Cheers. The nose is just extremely soft, very sweet. Um, sweet sherry, definitely sherry. Some some old nuts, walnuts. And cherries, almost sugar coated cherries. Yeah. Very mellow. It smells like a 15 or <laughs> almost 20 year old blend. Let's taste it. Very spicy. Much more spicy than indicated by the nose. There's a sweetness, a sherry, sherry and cherry sweetness. Again, there is a, a sort of woody, nutty, off flavor um, at the end. Not particularly to my liking. Very, very decent, medium body. Hmm. It's quite a, quite a schizophrenic blend, you know. It's uh, this strange woody off note. And yet it defines its character, so can't be too mad at it. At the same time, it's just so mellow and sweet, and you just want to sit in your woolly overcoat, I don't know what it's called in American or English, and, and just sip away. It's quite different than Black Label. Black Label is also very sweet. It's not sherry sweetness. This is E150 caramel sweetness uh, in the Black Label. Um, it's very apparent in the taste and in the nose, nose of that whiskey, but it's it's coping quite well with it. The Talisca and the Kulila, these peated smoky whiskies, are able to punch through that layer of sweetness. Uh, but with this one, it's it's just sort of stale. But it's at the same time, it's got some it's got some character. I don't know. It's a decent blend. 
try it out. It's definitely definitely um, a decent substitute for Black Label. If you have been drinking this this for several years, you know, then uh, go check this one out. Peace.